I love the London Film Festival. You know, I've been coming here for over 30 years with different films and um, it's always been like, I've, to see it grow, to blossom into this huge red carpet, it's amazing. It used to be at the National Film Theatre, it used to be, you know, sort of a little programme of about a week's films run by a bunch of film buffs and it's now turned into this huge public event and I'm so thrilled for London and the festival. And it's a big honour after Cannes and New York to be here now with Carol. It's, it's been a real roller coaster ride for the movie. And I'm just happy to be part of that ride, really. It was always very difficult financing him because it's such a female driven movie, you know. It's, it's very hard in such a male dominated world, not necessarily for viewers or audiences, but for financing and distributors and the way things are constructed, not having a male lead is a problem. And even though we had two amazing actors in Kate Blanchett and Rooney Mara, it still seemed an impossible task and so it was quite tough and you know Todd is an incredible director he's a master and he's a and he's made an incredible film um, and to get the detail and to get everything we needed for this film we had to spend you know we, it's a lush looking movie it's a beautiful looking film and the costumes the hair the makeup the sets the cars the everything you know everything is created the 50s is now a long time ago I mean I was actually born in the late 50s uh, believe it or not, but um, you know, it's a long time ago now, so we are creating almost another era. Um, and then that was what a very big challenge was mixing that w ambition of what the scripts demanded, what the book demanded, what Todd demanded, what we were demanded uh, with the financing of the film. So as a producer, it was, it was quite tough to kind of get that through the pipeline. Well, I think Phyllis called it Carol, and I think it was called Carol, the book was called Carol in certain areas. I think it was published as Carol. Uh, it could have been in Europe, it may have been published as Carol, and not as the Price of Salt. I know the red or it could have been republished as Carol. But somehow, when we read it, it was as Carol, the script. And we went back to the book to read The Price of Salt, because we read the script 10 years ago. Um, we, worked, we did a movie called Mrs. Harris with Annette Benning and Ben Kingsley, and that's when we first read the script. So we fell in love with the script before the book. And I think um, it was always Carol. And that was, that was what it was for us. So we didn't orchestrate any great name change. It wasn't because of the potential audience. Um, uh, the price of salt would be confusing for people now, though, if you think about it. I mean, Carol is such an easy, easy title and such an easy one to remember. Well, there's, I mean, we were so lucky. We were so, so lucky. I mean, you know, if you're going to have a film that's driven by women, to have actors as powerful and as incredible as Kate and Bruni is quite extraordinary. So, um, and there's not much I can say about them other than they are probably the two, two of the finest actors in the world at the moment. And I, I'm just part, I'm just pleased as punch to be even involved in a small way in this film because just to watch them perform and to watch what Todd and they have brought together, the magic and the chemistry is extraordinary. They bring real chemistry to the film. I mean, it's crazy to talk about Clark Gable and Carol Lombard or, you know, Cary Grant and Catherine Hepburn. But there is something going on in this film which is extraordinary. You really fall in love with them and you fall in love with their, the, the, the love they feel for each other. So it's an extraordinary and fantastic combination. Um, and we were very, very lucky to get them, very lucky indeed. Because there aren't, there aren't two actors I can think of, two female actors, um, you know, of their generation who are quite as, as good as they are. And certainly I couldn't think of anyone else we could cast in this movie. You know, but that's the way a certain turn is out. When we cast Bob Hoskins in Mona Lisa, I could never imagine casting anyone else in that film. You know, but Sean Connery was going to do it at one point. So I think we lucked out with, with, with Kate and, and Rooney very much. I think with the, he's shown with actors like Julianne Moore that he is an amazing director of female actors. And that I think he also is incredibly sensitive to the material. And I think it fitted into his oeuvre. It's very rare you can find an auteur like Todd Haynes and find a subject matter that will fit in with them. It's usually the other way around. They usually write and direct their own films. But this seemed to fit perfectly with the kind of films that Todd loves to make. So that's kind of why it was a horse for the course, really.